Once you start using free RTOS tasks, you probably want to manage them. In this video, I'll show you how to stop and suspend tasks, as well as how to check on their status. In front of me, I have the same code from the previous video, and it consists out of two tasks that simply increment a counter every second. Now here we already implemented the first level of control, and that is feed task delay. It suspends the current task for a given number of ticks. Now both these tasks will run forever, but how do we stop them? Let's say I want to stop task 1 after the counter has reached 3. To do that, I will create a check inside this for loop and I will say if count 1 is larger than 3, then I want to stop the task. And we can do that by calling vTaskDelete. This one takes one parameter, it's the task to delete, and if we pass null to it, then it will delete the current task. So this function basically tells FreeRTOS that the current task should no longer be given any processing time. But what if we want to stop task one from the outside? Say that we want to stop it from within task number two. To do that, we need to define task handles. These allow us to control tasks from anywhere in our code. Let's create a task handle for task one. I'll do that at the top of the file. So I will say task handle underscore T and I will give it a name, say task one underscore handle and we'll initialize it to null. Now we have to give this task handle to our X task create function. So I'm gonna scroll down to our setup function where we create both of these tasks and I will say that for task one, we do want to keep track of a task handle. And in this case, we're gonna give it a pointer to task one underscore handle, the one we've just created right here. And that's it. Now we can control task one from the outside with its handle. Now, the first thing we can do to task one is we can suspend it or resume it. Let's say that we want to suspend task one when the counter reaches a certain value, say three. Well, we can do v task suspend, and then we can pass along null if we want to suspend the current task itself, let's say v task one, but I can also suspend it from the outside. So let's scroll down to the Arduino loop function, and here I can write something similar. I can say if count one is larger than three, then I want to suspend task one, and to do that, I'm just gonna pass along the task one handle to it. Now, while this code will work, we have to be careful with task one underscore handle. It's initialized as null. And if we call v task suspend with null, it means that FreeRTOS will suspend the current task. Then if we run it here, that means that the Arduino main loop will be suspended. That's not something we want. So I'll add a second check to our if statement. And we're gonna say that we're only going to suspend task one if the count one is higher than three, but also if task one handle is not null. So these are two ways of suspending tasks. You can use a task handle to suspend it from the outside, or you can just pass along null to vtask suspend to suspend the current task itself. Suspending a task means that it won't run, but that it can be resumed at any point by using vtask resume. So I'm gonna scroll back down to the loop function and let's say that I want to resume task one if count two is equal to five. I'm gonna say if, if count two equals five and our task handle one is not null, then I want to resume it by calling vtask resume task one underscore handle. Now obviously here vtask resume will always need a task handle. Another level of control is to suspend all the tasks and resume them later on. This might be useful when you want to run some code that is time sensitive and that should not be interrupted. So let's say that we have a super important task. What we can do is we can say v task suspend all. Then we can run our mission critical code here. And afterwards, we can resume all of the other tasks by calling x task resume all. So what we're doing here is we're making sure that no other tasks are running when we're in between these two statements. Just don't forget to run x task resume all because without it, no other task will run. And that also includes the Arduino main loop. 
Now, the last thing you can do is you can also delete a task completely. So let's say that when the count reaches three, we no longer need task one. Then instead of calling v task suspend, we can call v task delete. But we can also use v task delete from within the task itself. If we scroll up to task number one, we can also say if count is higher than three, we, will, we want to call v task delete and then we're gonna pass along null, which tells FreeRTOS that we want to delete the current task itself, which is, in this case, task one. So this was a quick overview of how you can manage FreeRTOS tasks. Definitely check out the rest of the series for more videos about the ESP32.